Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. What's the longest road trip you've ever done? Uh, we went from North Carolina down to the Keys one time in Florida. What about you? I did a trip from Tampa up through Nebraska and into Utah. Oh. That <laughs> was a little much. I was so proud. As kids, we loved playing with these little red dot laser pointers. You shine them on the wall, entertain your pets, and just point at stuff a long ways away. But fun as those are, we thought that we wanted to turn them into something a little bit more impressive. So we had to take 174 laser pointers and put them into a laser that's over four feet long. Now it doesn't just look good on the outside, it also works great. We're gonna be showing you how it stacks up against other laser pointers. We're gonna show you some of how we built it and explain some of the science behind lasers. But before we get into that nitty gritty science stuff, let's check out these 174 lasers in action. Ready? Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It has already melted it's through. <laughs> that there took like is. no time. That looked like two seconds. Whoa. We've got a lot more tests that we still want to try with the giant laser, but first, let's take a quick look at how it was built and how it all works. I drew out a chart that shows sort of all of the wiring. This is inside the laser. First, we have four battery packs. These are batteries that you use in racing RC cars. All of the positive wires go into this 30 amp light switch. The wires coming out from the switch attached to this copper covered board. The negatives of all of the wires go to this other board over here. All of those wires go into these things, which are called DC to DC buck converters, and their purpose is to reduce the voltage. So these batteries put out about eight volts, but if we ran that much into our lasers, it would burn out the driver. So all of these are set to reduce the voltage from eight down to three. I have seven of them drawn here, but in reality, there are 35 of them inside the laser. Now each of these DC to DC buck converters runs to two more copper covered boards. One for the negative side, that's the black wires, and one for the positive side, that's all the red wires. From the black and red wires, each buck converter is running five laser pointers. All this is housed in a giant cardboard tube. This is for pouring forms of concrete, but it also happened to be a really good size for us. If you want to see more of the actual build of the laser, we do have a separate video over on our second channel, 2Core. Go check that out. So let's talk about lasers and how we got here. Laser pointers work by powering a laser diode with an energy source that emits a very narrow, coherent, low-powered beam of visible light. The pocket laser pointers, like the ones we used in our giant laser pointer, date back to the 1980s. But the first concept of a laser dates back to the 1950s. Hughes Aircraft built the first laser using rubies, light, and mirrors to produce a beam. Then in the 1960s, the first semiconductor laser, also known as diode lasers, were created. This advancement made laser pointers more affordable and accessible. There are three important aspects in the output of a laser, the line width, the coherence, and the power. Line width isn't about how big the dot or the beam is, it has to do with how much of the light spectrum we've got. The line width of a laser is going to be extremely narrow. We're using green lasers at the 532 nanometer line width. Something like a light bulb could be maybe just the red if it was a red light, or a white light which would include a line width of the entire visible light spectrum. Because lasers have such a narrow line width, they're one precise color. The next piece of this puzzle is coherence. The light emitted from the laser is coherent, meaning it's polarized in the same direction and it must be in phase with all the troughs and ridges aligning with one another. Photons have their energies in line with one another, meaning they create coherence which allows them to focus in one direction over a period of time. Lastly is the power. Lasers allow us to deliver high amounts of intense light to a small area. In our case, we're using power from the battery and the output is five milliwatts per laser, but we do have 174 of them, so the total's quite a bit more. A lot. <laughs> 
That was a lot of technical talk. Let's take another look at what happens when we put all of that together. I think I got her. Oh man, you can't win against a giant laser pointer. <laughs> Guys, we're out here at the Salt Flat to see just what this laser can do. Completely light her up. Ah! Oh my gosh. That was really bright. Yum. I had to guess, I think we're over a quarter mile away now. Lower, lower, more to your right, more to your right. I haven't turned to you, so you should be able to shoot me without hurting my eyes. Okay. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Ow, <laughs> look at it. You can't handle my laser pointer, laser pointer. That one is already so bright. <laughs> Let there be light. So bright. Oh yeah, this is extra party mode. Can we get some like oonts music going in the video with this part? Yeah, get some party music. Oh my god! Rap that looks amazing. We're gonna take a minute during our dance party to tell you about the sponsor for today's video, Raycon. Raycon is turning the electronics industry on its head by making great sound for everyone. Their wireless earbuds start at half the cost of other premium audio brands. With Raycon, you get six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, a heavier bass, and a nice compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. Raycon has wireless earbuds in a bunch of fun colors and patterns with a variety of fit options and of course, there's no dangling wires or stems. If you don't end up liking Raycons as much as I do, they do have a 45 day free return policy. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash TKOR to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. I punched it! <laughs> too excited, too much party, too much party!